procrastinators and welcome to day four of the Nerd Cubed Awards 2021 and today's award is the Boris Johnson on a Zipline Award which is awarded to the biggest fucktastrophe of the year. A game so awful, broken and incompetent that right to hell hides its face when it comes crashing into the local. A game that digs underneath its own lone bar that it's crushed by the gravitational weight of the earth. A game of such breathtaking incompetence that if it were in a global pandemic it wouldn't get the free life-saving vaccine. And the winner is... Of course, Grand Theft Auto, the trilogy, the definitive edition. I mean, I called it. Not to get to, I told you so, but I was telling you not to buy this game before it is even fucking announced. Now, after it has been released, even I'm surprised by just how many garbage fires this game turned out to be. From clashing art styles, removed music, absolutely artless direction, to broken gameplay, a breathtaking amount of bugs, and absolutely shit frame rates, this collection leaves a big dollop on the name Grand Theft Auto. I mean, on PS5, the only way to get 60 FPS is to play the performance mode of the PS4 version. On PC, it was literally unplayable for days after launch, and on the Switch, you'll get 20 FPS and full several second hangs if you fly. Fuck me, Dying Light came out on the Switch this year, looks incredible, and can keep 30 FPS when hundreds of zombies are on the screen. This piece of shit lags if you have the audacity to look at anything other than the floor. Not to mention the fact that it was so lazily coded that players discovered that the game shipped with removed music, which Rockstar had refused to shell out any of its GTA Online billions on, with just a little bit of code telling the game to just skip those tracks. Rockstar sold music it didn't have the license for to a massive audience of people. If they had fucked this up any more, they would have found hot coffee in this version. Oh wait! They did. This was an absolute disaster that's still burning and exploding as we speak. Maybe they'll be able to turn this around into something playable, but at this point it will be faster from them to start from scratch than to fix this mess. Awful, awful, awful. Avoid. I will see you tomorrow.